I got a big, or I guess little surprise for y'all today. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Sundown Audio unofficial YouTube channel. My name's Derek. This is going to be another episode of Amp Test Tuesday. But let me warn you up front, we won't be any amp testing today on this video. Try to take some of y'all's advice and shorten the videos up a little bit. Um, some of these tests I like to be really thorough. I like to introduce the product, talk about it, show you all the little details about it, then move into the testing. So I'm going to try something different this week. Today on this video is going to be just the intro. We're going to introduce a brand new product, the Sunbound Audio SFB 3000D. It's a tiny little amplifier. You saw it in the intro. So we're going to do the full intro today. I'm going to talk about it, show you all the specs, the measurements, the details, every little thing. We're going to put it in this video talking about this amplifier. Then we're going to do a part two and it's going to be coming quick because I've already done all the testing. We're going to have a part two coming where it's going to be all the amplifier testing where we're going to wire it up here on the amp dyno. We're going to bring all the testing to you live on video. Now, if you're on my Facebook, you've probably already seen some of the shots. I've already done some testing on it, put up some pictures. I have not, or I have not posted a full video of all the testing yet, but that's going to be coming right here on the YouTube channel. But today, this video, just talking about all the specs, all the details, showing off the amplifier, doing all that. So, another thing I want to talk about up front, haven't had a video out in a little bit. Yes, it's just been that busy, that stressful haven't had time we are currently hiring all the time i get people asking y'all hiring y'all hiring well yeah we're hiring so if you have an interest in working right here at sundown audio you could be working here tomorrow uh send your resume in email it to brandon at sundownaudio.com or give us a call 828-459-1980 you can call and talk to brian He'll be happy to give you all the details, but we are hiring two positions immediately. We're a little backed up, so anybody waiting on stuff, that's why we're working as hard as we can. I've been putting in extra time, working till 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night, some nights. I haven't had any time to even make any videos these past couple weeks. So I'm trying to get all that handled. But yeah, if you want a job here, you can have one right we now. We have a new shop. We'll be doing a video on it very soon, showing you all the new shop. It's over in Newton and, uh, be looking out for that, so that's coming soon. But right now, let's get down to the nitty gritty here. We're gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna show off this brand new Sundown Audio SFB 3000D amplifier. Stay tuned. All right guys, we're back right here. I got for you the brand new Sundown Audio SFB 3000D. Now I know the font's a little funky here that you're reading on the screen, but yes, that does say S. F B and that stands for Sundown Full Bridge. Now let's do a quick unboxing. Um, another thing you might notice, I'll make sure you get up there. This is made in China. This amplifier is very inexpensive, and the easiest way to do that is to produce it in China. So, yes, this amplifier is made overseas in China to some very, very strict standards of ours. We'll go over that during the video. Um, but to go ahead and throw it in there up front. 3,000 watts, we have certified that. It does over rated power on the amp dyno. We'll show that in all the testing to come later. Price, it is $349.95 from any authorized Sundown Audio dealer. Right now, you can get this thing for $350. 3,000 watts, and it will do that power certified on the amp dyno. Very, very inexpensive for a 3,000 watt amplifier. Now let's show a quick unboxing. When you get it, of course, this is what the box is going to look like. You're going to open it up. You're going to get that traditional Sundown Audio decal, just like everything. Packed really nice, some strong foam packing. Here at the side, you're going to get a remote knob. Now, nothing, nothing crazy fancy about the remote knob, but I'll pull it out and show it to you show you it's not some real plain Jane basic um, it's gonna get the job done but there you go nice smooth roll it's actually got a slightly bigger knob than some other models especially the, the Chinese models but simple 
easy, nothing fancy, no clip lights, nothing like that. Again, this thing is entry level, low price point. Everything's around that. So you will get the remote knob. You'll get the, the phone cord to go with it. Let's set that to the side. Let's pull the amplifier out. Now you're also gonna get just a little pack of some mounting screws, some of those in there. Pull our foam off. Amplifier is gonna be in some nice plastic, keeping it safe. Let me get this box out the way. We can open this thing up. All right, here you go. <clears throat> now, you probably saw in the intro us holding one up, so you all can see it's, it's fairly, fairly tiny. There it is, comparison with my hand, and I don't, I don't have super gargantuan monster hands or anything, but it is a super tiny amplifier. That's another one of the good, positive qualities about this thing. So let's go ahead and highlight that from the beginning. Got my tape measure. Now, measuring at the case, we have about seven and three-eighths of an inch. Now, even if we go to the widest point down here at the mounting feet, let's get down here, we have eight and three eighths. So that is just super, super tiny. Eight and three eighths of an inch. Our other direction, let's pull the tape across. Let me do it this way. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see this on camera. And we've got about eight and seven eighths. So less than nine inches each way <clears throat> less than nine inches square, 3,000 watts. Ton of power in just a super tiny platform. Now, another one of the big things we want to show off here are those inputs. Yep, those are full size one aught gauge inputs. Unlike any other amplifier in this class, in this size and this power, you're going to get full-size one-aught one gauge wire inputs. <clears throat> no other amplifier that I've seen at this current time comes with this. They all come with smaller four gauge. And even then, some of the amps I've seen, those four gauge inputs are undersized. These are full-size one-aught, and they are nice. Just like you're gonna get on any of the bigger Korean amplifiers, any of the nicer amplifiers. Another thing I wanna show off, we've got the eight gauge speaker outputs. Now again, in some other amplifiers in this size, in this class, you'll get eight gauge outputs, but my experience in testing, they're an undersized eight gauge, and they don't quite hold the, the wire that we use very well. As a matter of fact, we sometimes like to use little adapters like this, little eight gauge adapters. Well, on some of the amplifiers I tried out, our eight gauge adapters wouldn't even slide in. So we made sure these had a true eight gauge output on them and they will hold good oversized eight gauge speaker wire and they will accept our machined adapters. <clears throat> now to go ahead, I've already showed you everything on this side so you get your basic power, ground, remote, all real simple, nothing fancy there. Other side, you got your input and output. These dudes have a pass through feature but you do not have to use that. So even though it says output on the bottom one, both of these are inputs. You can use them as a left and right for the, for the audio input. If you need output, you can hook one single RCA in here and you'll have one single come out. <clears throat> to move on, we've got our crossovers and this being a full bridge amplifier, it is full range. So it is not dedicated on a subwoofer only output. This thing does, power full range. You can not only run it on your subwoofers, you can run your doors, your mids and highs, everything. Any frequency you want to play through it, it's capable of playing. So with that being said, we get not only the low pass crossover, but high pass as well. Then move on, you have your gain and a bass boost. <clears throat> now I don't recommend using a bass boost, but for anybody that's doing some just funky business where you're trying to use a live output converter or something where you just might have some, uh, some low signal quality, some low voltage coming in. Sometimes you need a little extra help where you max your gain out and it still doesn't quite match the way you need and 
in that instance that instance only sometimes you can use a little help with the base boost to get everything matched properly but so that is on there very low up to plus 12 db and adjustable frequency on that then we have a remote knob input right there you're gonna have some lights on this side your power clip and protect so you do have a clipping indicator it's just here on the amplifier and like i said earlier a true full-size eight gauge eight gauge speaker outputs that will handle the oversized sundown audio eight gauge wire all right so i want to adjust the camera down bring you in a little bit closer because we're going to do the gut shot or the under the skirt shot is what the guys recently started calling it so let's flip this thing over undo these screws and pull the back plate off so we got four screws back here holding the back plate on basic phillips head let's pop these out real quick and oh no we're gonna void the warranty dig in here pop that plate off let y'all see what's inside of here so there you go again real simple nothing fancy real basic things are trimmed down and slimmed down to keep the price as low as possible so remember 3,000 watts or better we've actually certified around 3,500 watts right now on the amp dyno but yeah 30 or 350 dollars shipped from your favorite authorized Sundown Audio dealer. So you won't see a ton of the extra parts or the big overbuilt parts or anything like that as you'll see in some of the some of the bigger amplifiers, but everything's there. You see, we've even got the built-in fan in there, cuts on, keeps everything cool while it's running. It's almost hard to believe in a package this small, again, less than nine inches square, you can get over 3,000 watts out of this thing. But no secrets, nothing to hide, all right there out in the open for, um, for everybody to see. So check it out. All right, so let's take a second to go over some of the basic ratings on this. And to do that real easy, we'll just show you the side of the box. Everything's printed right here. Uh, try and get this in an area where we won't get such a bad glare. So here we go. Obviously, model number SFB3000. This is a mono block amplifier, so it has one channel of output. It is rated at 14.4 volts, with its one ohm output power being 3000 watts. And you'll see at two ohm, it's rated for 2025 watts, and four ohm, it's rated for 1140 watts. Those are all RMS ratings. <clears throat> Everything else, you'll see all the basic stuff. I don't want to get too detailed about them, but again, uh, we see a minimum and maximum voltage supply. Try and get those focused in there, but minimum voltage of nine volts. I definitely do not recommend running your system that low. If you're running at nine volts, you got some other issues you need to address. Um, same with the 16 volts. You really don't need that much power in this thing. I've, I've done the tests already. I've already ran it on the amp dyno and things, and trust me, at, at 14 volts, it does plenty of power. You don't need to run it at 16 volts. But just show you the basic ratings right there, 3,000 watts at 1 ohm. Now, before I even cut right now, let me tell you, do not run this amplifier below 1 ohm. It is 1 ohm or higher only. Unlike some of our other flyers like the Korean models, the SCVs, the SAZs, the upcoming SALT amplifiers, Korean models are overbuilt. They have an insanely overbuilt output section that can handle tons of current. The Chinese amplifiers do not. And that includes some of our older amplifiers like the SAE line. They do not have the overbuilt output section like the Koreans do. That's why they're so much cheaper. That's why there's a huge, huge price difference there. Um, see, there's very, very, let me show this back again. See how tiny those guts are. They are not overbuilt. Do not run them below one ohm. One ohm operation or higher only. And that's one ohm nominal. Don't worry about the nominals of the reactives or that stuff. 
If you're worrying about being, oh, I'm going to be an over one ohm reactive, no, you're already doing it wrong. One ohm nominal or higher. Trust me, <clears throat> if you run it below one ohm, you're going to explode the output section. We're going to know as soon as the amplifier is sent back. Do not do it. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about, guys, is talk about the basic full bridge design. And uh, just go over the basic uh, kind of who, what, when, where, whys, and hows of full bridge. Now, I'm not good at getting super geeky on the little details, so I try and keep things simple so everybody can understand. All right, here's the first biggest misconception. Every time someone, someone thinks full bridge, they think Brazilian. And as soon as we started putting out pictures and some photos and leaking the stuff out, a little bit of info about this empire, people are immediately like, oh, Sundown's going Brazilian. Well, no, the amplifier is not Brazilian. As I showed you in the very beginning of the video, and I'll show you again, it is made in China. It is a Chinese amplifier. It is just a full bridge design. So people are like, oh, well, full bridge equals Brazilian. No, it doesn't. Brazil did not invent the full bridge design. The full bridge design goes back way, way further than that. It's just what so many people become accustomed to lately because almost all your Brazilian amplifiers coming out are all full bridge design. So immediately people think full bridge must be Brazilian. Well, let's just stop that myth right now. Every full bridge amplifier does not come from Brazil. There's plenty that come from other places. For instance, we chose to outsource this one to China. And again, for price reasons. Less than nine inches square, over 3,000 watts, $350 at this time. $350. Now, compared to any other amplifier I've seen, I've checked out. Any other amplifier in its class, and by class I mean size and power, okay? This small, nine inches square, 3,000 watts, that's the class I'm talking about, and there's several other little 3,000 watt amplifiers out there. I've not seen another amplifier that you can buy through an authorized dealer, I'm talking about from like, even if it's mail order, brick and mortar, any authorized dealer for that price or cheaper, $350. So if you know some, cool, throw them in the comments, list them out there, guys. All the ones I've looked at ordering from a legit authorized dealer, not some backdoor thing that you just happen to get through some random website or something, all the ones from authorized dealers have been similar price, but usually a little higher or a lot higher, some being as much as $800 for something in this class. All right guys, so I'm gonna wrap this video up. Again, I'm trying to listen to your feedback, a lot of comments about me, shrinking the videos down, keeping them a little shorter. So I'm gonna keep this one just basic unboxing review, showing you all the details. I think I've covered everything about it from price, size, full bridge design, why it's made in China, all that good stuff. It's all in the video, if you're fast forwarding, Go back, watch the whole thing. I purposely kept this video short to keep just the important details in there. So again, Sundown Audio, SFB 3000D, stands for Sundown Full Bridge, 3000 watts or better in a super tiny package, less than nine inches square, on sale right now. It's your favorite Sundown Audio dealer. They're already in the hands of a lot of select dealers. Any dealer that ordered them, we have a small batch come in, those are all gone. They're all out in the hands of dealers. We have another massive batch coming in. We'll be here in, I think, about a month or so. We'll have those in hand. So if your dealer doesn't already have some, didn't get in on the first small batch we had, had expressed in, there's more on the way. Let me tell you, I've already been playing with it. These things are awesome. So that's it. Going to wrap this video up before it gets too long. Remember, guys, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, make sure to click that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Don't forget, check out sundownunofficial.com for all your awesome sundown tees. We've got the classics, the basics. They're all on there. Check them out. Keep your eye out. Amp test video coming soon. We're going to wire this thing up the amp dyno, show what it can do. 4 ohm, 2 ohm, 1 ohm. The 2 ohm results are going to shock you. But that's it. Till next time, guys. We'll see y'all later.